Hello. Right now I am in Lisbon, capital of Portugal, the most western country in Europe, known for our beautiful beaches. We are also addicted to codfish. Fado music is our very traditional music that we cry and uh, mourn from our pains in our hearts. Also, Cristiano Ronaldo. So and of course our amazing cuisine, our amazing dishes, our amazing sweets and I'm doing this video because this graphic of the best foods in the world popped up this one right here I was checking it and the third best dish is Portuguese and it's called Amejuas Abulhão Pato I'm going to look for the third best food in the world and I'm gonna tell you how good it is let's go to start the day, our first stop will be in the famous pastry shop Manteigaria, where they do one of the best pastel de nata in the whole universe. Pastel de nata is a pastry filled with a custard made of cream, egg yolks, sugar and flour. One of the chefs is making the puff pastry, then they combine, cook all the ingredients. Someone is also rolling the pastry, they fill the dough with custard and then bake it till the top is caramelized. Hola. Quero uma nata, por favor? Sim. Com canela. Tá ok. Essa sim tá boa? Tá. Parece-me bem. Obrigado. Um e por favor. Ok. Tem também americano, um café americano. Queria um, por favor. <laughs> Alright, here's the famous Portuguese tart. This one is so creamy inside. We should try it with cinnamon also. And the pastry is very crunchy, very good. Have you had a, a better Portuguese tart than this one? The thing is, I don't like this, I mean, I know that it's the best, but I don't like it so very, very creamy. Okay. So I like those a lot because they are not so... These ones? Yeah, they okay. are not so moist. I mean, of course they are moist, but okay. not so... Because yesterday we ate this famous villain and they are very moist and very, mm. very, very creamy. And I myself don't like it that creamy. So okay. I like those, but I'm maybe not in the, the best. <laughs> Uh, person to ask about. No, that, no, that's good to know because this one, compared to all of Portugal, is already very, very moist and creamy. Really? I didn't even know the plain ones were even more creamy. I, I would say yes. Okay. okay. After the pastel nata, I literally walk two meters away and I see this beauty of a shop. If you're wondering why I like sweets so much, it's because I'm Portuguese and there's literally a thousand different delicious cakes. It's with mango, apple, strawberry, pineapple, chocolate, oh my god. So I couldn't uh, hold myself. I have to try all the Portuguese tarts. I need to know if they're making crimes out here in Portugal. If you are as excited as I am to try this next pastéis nata, please subscribe right here. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna look for a beautiful place so I can try these Portuguese tarts that I never tried before. Okay, let's try with the strawberry. I cannot see how this is a good idea. <laughs> let's try it. Not good and they're old. They're not even crunchy. They're very old. Uh, let's try this one. I think this is apple. They're all very old, like no one is buying these ones. I'm guessing this is pineapple. The fruit ones, they don't work. This is the last one, mango. Mango, Porchi Star 2 makes this. The cake itself is not well made, it's soft because it's probably been there for days. Okay, this one seems the, the more decent ones. This is with nuts. It also feels old. The game is just old tarts. 
I mean, this could work, but the crunchy of the nuts with the softness and mushiness of the custard, I don't like the balance that it makes. And last one, chocolate custard. This one could be the best one. Oh my god, this is a bomb. It's definitely the best one compared to the other six. But I don't think it gets better than the regular one. I tried these six cakes, so you don't have to try. If you come to Portugal, just try the traditional one without anything extra. I've had seven pastéis de nata, but there's something else I want to show you before the main dish. It is the famous pastel de bacalhau. Okay, here's the famous codfish cake from Portugal. This is where they make it. And uh, I'm gonna try one. Look how beautiful this, this is. Okay, look at this huge potato. So this is codfish, it also has potato inside. Codfish, of course. This one looks like it cost me five euros, that's why it's so huge. I'm gonna be full after this. So inside this one feels very much like a potato with pieces of codfish. This is not as traditional as the usual ones. There isn't usually as much potato as this one. Look at how much potato this is. For me, five euros for this codfish cake is not a good deal. And while I search for a place to eat the third best food in the world, please, please, please subscribe. Thank you. Okay, I had my starters and I'm ready to try the Mejos a Bouillon Pato. If you don't know, Mejos is clam. Bouillon Pato is a famous poet back in the days. He was even Spanish, but they just called the dish Bouillon Pato in honor of that poet. No idea why this was long ago. There's many speculations, but I don't care if you want to eat. So let's, uh, let's uh, find a restaurant. I saw one there, Bahia do Peixe, with fresh fish, that's where I'm going now. Trying the clams a bouillon pat. Importa the de costas? Como é que chama? João. João, prazer. Conheci a bocado do outro João. A terra dos joões. So here we have, this is supposedly is the third best dish in the world. These are clams, they're cooked with wine, garlic, cilantro, salt. Let's try it. Strong flavor, tastes very winy, like from the wine. The clam in itself, it's so small, so tiny. I would even say the sauce is way too salty. Way, way too salty. So yeah, very disappointed on these clams. But there's still a main dish coming. It's gonna be squid and prawns and pineapple. I'm excited for that one. Let's try the squid. Yeah, here's the skin. No flavor. It's very thin. Texture is perfect. Flavor, no flavor. It's very watery. It's probably not fresh. Pineapple is very nice. Okay, let's try this. I'm not expecting much with this prawn after eating all of this, but let's see. Hopefully it has some taste. Again, tasteless, doesn't feel fresh. Yeah, what to do with this? Okay, all we can do is uh, do with it where there's a hole. Can I put it in my tongue?
here I leave the restaurant very, very disappointing. Disappointed? My heart hurts from being Portuguese at this moment. After five horrific Portuguese starts and after eating some of the worst seafood ever, I am going to dive in this ocean and maybe you're not gonna see me again ever. I want to finish a Portuguese video in a good note so I'm going to find a stranger and offer the Portuguese star that I have in my pocket, in my backpack Olá, posso me juntar? Olá, sim Estava a perguntar se querias comer uma tarte de nata comigo Uma tarte de nata? Sim. Eu acabei de comer especificamente um pastel de nata Ah, sério? Uh -huh. Que era para terminar o meu vídeo Mas ok, vamos isso. Queres? <risos> Fiquei tão desapontado com o dia 2, em termos de comida, queria acabar de uma maneira bonita. Ok, tu vamos isso. Então, obrigada. Obrigado eu. Tchim tchim. Tchim tchim. <risos> Obrigado. Tu finiste o vídeo? Esta também é boa. Uhum. Olha, é uma boa nata, tem uma boa quantidade de, de canela. Natas não costumam trazer canela incluída, não é? É verdade. Uma boa nata. É verdade. Thank you guys. Watch this video here in Madeira, eating some more traditional food. And the subscribe right here. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.